everyone and welcome to a new review for Breaking Bad. This week's episode was called Confessions. Let's talk about the episode. First, some quick thoughts. I literally almost have no more nails from this episode being so freaking stressful. I hope I can make it to the end of the season without having to actually eat my freaking fingers. Todd and his crew are heading back to New Mexico. I just don't think that's gonna work out really well for Walt. I mean, there's a reason we were shown this scene at the beginning of the episode and it doesn't bode well at all. I have to mention that scene between Skylar and Walt at the car wash when he comes in to ask her to take over for him. And if you notice, she's actually half lit. So there's part of her that's in the light, there's part of her that's in the darkness, but Walt is all in the darkness. And I thought that was such an interesting scene and visual because it's like, well, you know, Skylar is still, there's still hope for her. There's still light a little bit in her, but Walt is just dark from top to bottom. I like that imagery a lot. And Walt Jr. finally made an appearance. I was kind of getting worried about him. Just a little bit. Now let's talk about Walt. As I was watching the scene between him and Walt Jr., I, you know, I just, I wasn't sure where he was going with it. And then at some point I'm like, is, is he manipulating his son? Oh my God, this is happening. This is happening. I was not expecting this. He totally did. What? He manipulated his son into staying home and not going to see his aunt and uncle. You gotta wonder, is Walt going too far? Is this the line that you didn't think he was gonna cross? I, mean, I, just, I was just like, wow, I... And then just when I thought, oh wow, you know, he manipulated his son, then the video happens. And I'm like, oh my god oh my god as i'm watching the tape i'm just like i literally was making the same face that hank and marie were making like this i i cannot believe this is happening it's brilliant but so wrong so wrong i don't know whether i should applaud walt for doing it or i should be even more scared of walt i mean just just blowing my mind just watching that video was like on a lighter note, who loved that waiter at the restaurant who came talking to them and was really like, so are you guys ready? You want some guacamole? We make it at the table. Who's ready to party? And you're like, and they're like, such a great moment. Because it was such a contrast between this is really deep, dark stuff. And then there's the whole world that's continuing on with their lives. And now moving on to Jesse. Of course, last episode left us on a crazy cliffhanger. And if you've seen my last review, then you know how freaked out I was. So of course we pick up right where we ended last week. And I love the sequence where you see the whole scene happening from Jesse's point of view, where everything is going forward really fast, up to the moment catching up to where we stopped with Hank walking in the room. So far it seems that Jesse's hatred for Hank is stronger than his hatred for Walt. Although seeing what happened in the end, I'm not so sure that's still true. And as I mentioned before, I think at this point, Jesse can totally see through Walt and his manipulations. And I think it makes sense now because Jesse really sees Walt for who he is, that he would finally realize that he was the one who killed Brock. Speaking of that ending, I, I mean, I mean, oh my God, when he's holding those cigarettes in his hand and almost having a nervous breakdown from the realization of what happened. Oh, and then I think this is the thing that put him over the edge. And when he brought the gasoline with him and started throwing it all over the house, I just thought, well, you know, maybe the kids are in the house. So I don't know about this idea that he had. I'm a little worried about the kids. Jesse has finally cracked. Of course. Breaking Bad is so good at doing this and ending it just as you're really getting into it and you're like, oh man, oh this is gonna be bad. Oh Jesse, what are you doing? Face to black. Of course we have to wait another week. But it's so good. It's so freaking good, guys. I am so excited. You can probably tell. Those final eight episodes were worth waiting for. That's all I'm gonna say. Of course, I'd love to know what you guys thought and if you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. Do you think that now that Jesse knows about Brock, he will team up with Hank to bring Walt down? Anything else about the episode you wanna talk about or that I missed? Let me know in the comments. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be reviewing Breaking Bad every week. And for more TV news, make sure to check out tvequals.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.